Hello friends, today we are going to study questionnaire design process in research methodology with examples in detail. The questionnaire is a systematic data collection technique that consists of a series of questions that respondents need to answer to identify their attitude, experience and behavior in relation to the objective of the research. The questionnaire should motivate the participant to cooperate get involved and provide complete, honest and accurate answers. There are no scientific principle that can guarantee an ideal questionnaire. It is more of an art that is perfected by experience. Following steps we are going to study in detail. Please watch my video till end because you will found different examples for each and every step we are going to study today. Step number one, define the information needed. The first step is to decide what is necessary to know from the respondent to meet the research objectives. The researcher must be aware that what work has been done on the same problem or similar problems in the past, which factors have not examined yet. and how the present research questionnaire can be based on what has already been discovered. In addition, a small number of preliminary informal interviews with respondents will provide insight into the reality that can help to clarify idea about what information is needed. For example, airlines may want to know their customers satisfaction. Then information might be related to what service customer would like the airline to offer. Start by making a list of all questions you want to answer. Step number two, identify target respondents. It is also important to have a clear idea of the target participants. The researcher should identify the target respondent from whom the information is to be collected. The questions should be designed with the type of respondents in mind. The characteristics of the participating group have great influence on the design of the questionnaire. The least diverse group of respondents should be selected because the more diverse the group, the more difficult it will be to design a single questionnaire which is appropriate for the whole group. For example, researchers need to decide whether to include only existing user of the generic medicine or whether to include non-users as well. Step number three, specify the type of interview method. The next step is to identify the way in which respondents are reached. In personal interview, the interviewee receive a questionnaire and interacts personally with the interviewer. Thus, long, complex and varied questions can be asked using the personal interview method. In telephone interviews, the respondent is required to provide answer to questions over the telephone. Here, the respondent cannot see the questioner and therefore this method restricts the use of simple, small and precise questions. The questioner can be sent by email or post also. It must be self-explanatory and contain all important information so that the respondent is able to understand all the questions and give a complete answer. For example, the Gallup World Poll generally use a telephone survey only in countries where telephone coverage represents at least 80% of the population. Step number four, determine the content of individual questions. Once you have specified the necessary information and determined the interview method, the next step is to decide the content of the question. The researcher must decide what should be included in the question so that it contributes 
टू द नेसेसरी इन्फॉर्मेशन और मीट्स अ स्पेसिफिक पर्पज रिसर्चर्स शुड ऑलवेज बी प्रिपेयर टू आस्क इज दिस क्वेश्चन रियली नेसेसरी नो क्वेश्चन शुड बी इंक्लूडेड अनलेस द डेटा इट गिवस राइज टू आर डायरेक्टली यूजफुल इन टेस्टिंग वन और मोर ऑफ द हाइपोथिस एस्टाब्लिश्ड ड्यूरिंग द रिसर्च डिजाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द इंटरव्यूज ओपिनियन अबाउट अ स्पेसिफिक बुक यू कूड आस्क देम डिड यू लाइक द बुक डिड यू रेकमेंड द बुक टू अदर्स डिड यू लुक फॉर द अदर बुक्स बाय दिस ऑथर एट्सेट्रा स्टेप नंबर फाइव ओवरकम द पार्टिसिपेंट्स इनएबिलिटी एंड अनविलिंगनेस टू आंसर द रिसर्चर शुड नॉट एज्यूम दैट द रिस्पोंडेंट कैन प्रोवाइड एक्यूरेट आंसर्स टू ऑल क्वेश्चन ही मस्ट ट्राई टू ओवरकम द रिस्पोंडेंट्स इनएबिलिटी टू रिस्पोंड द क्वेश्चन मस्ट बी डिजाइन इन अ सिंपल एंड ईजी लैंग्वेज सो देट दे आर इजीली अंडरस्टूड बाय ईच रिस्पोंडंट इन सिचुएशंस वेर द रिस्पोंडंट इज नॉट फुल्ली इन्फॉर्म्ड अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट द रिसर्चर कैन आस्क द फिल्टर क्वेश्चन एन इनिशियल क्वेश्चन आस्क इन द क्वेश्चनर टू आइडेंटिफाई पोटेंशियल रिस्पोंडंट्स एंड एंश्योर दैट दे मीट द सैम्पल रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल If you want to know how many cases of water respondents purchase each month people are more likely to remember events or behaviors that are important to them occurs frequently and more recently such as reporting behavior from the last shopping trip step number 6 deciding on the question structure the researcher must decide on the structure of the questions to be included in the questionnaire the questions can be unstructured or structured unstructured questions are open ended questions that are answered by respondent in their own words these questions are also called free answer or free response questions structured questions are called close ended questions that pre specify answer alternatives these questions can be multiple choice dichotomous that is yes or no or a scale for example in open ended questions format researcher can ask state your opinion about quality of reliance products and services without options in close ended questions researcher can ask which are the gadgets that you cannot live without with option 1 cell phone option 2 laptop option 3 tablet option 4 digital cameras step number 7 choose question wording the desired content and structure of the question must be translated into words that are easily understood by the respondents in this step the researcher must translate the questions into easy words so that the information received from the respondents is similar to what was planned if the question is poorly written the respondents may refuse to answer or may give a wrong answer for example better wording for question is like which brand or brands of paste you personally use at home during the last month step number 8 arrange the questions in proper manner in this step the researcher must decide the sequence in which the questions will be asked the initial questions are crucial to establishing the interviewee's involvement and build relationship and therefore these questions should be interesting non threatening and easy generally open ended questions that ask respondents for opinion are considered good opening questions because people like to express their opinions for example in the questionnaire of coffee shop we can start with question number 1 what consideration are important to you in selecting a coffee shop question number 2 in selecting a coffee shop how important is convenience of its location 
Step number 9 identify the form and layout the format spacing and placement of the questions can have a significant effect on the result particularly in self administered questionnaires it is good practice to divide a questionnaire into several parts several parts may be necessary for questions related to basic information the questions in each part must be numbered particularly when branching questions are used the numbering of the questions also facilitates the coding of the answers easier for all questions give simple and accurate instructions on how to answer them for example tick the box circle the number add comments in the space below use a font and font size appropriate for your target audience limit the line length of your questions and answers options etc step number 10 reproduction of questionnaire in the design of an online questionnaire variation of languages branches graphics and visuals and the research experience can be almost personalized for individual participants here we talk about the appearance of the questionnaire that is the quality of the paper on which the questionnaire is written or printed in this case if the questionnaire is reproduced on a low quality paper then the respondent may feel that the survey is not important because the quality of the response is negatively affected therefore it is recommended to reproduce the questionnaire on paper of good quality and professional appearance for example most office papers are between 92 and 98 on the brightness scale using a higher brightness paper makes color more vibrant and attractive giving graphics and images better appearance step number 11 pre testing pre testing means testing the questioners on a few selected respondents or a small sample of real respondents in order to improve the questioner by identifying and eliminating potential problems all aspects of the questioner should be tested such as question content structure text sequence form and layout instruction and difficulty of the question the researcher must ensure that the respondents in the pretest are similar to those who will finally be surveyed for example in telephone survey interviewers call respondents as in actual research surveyors often listen to respondents when filling out the questionnaire to understand if there are any problem with specific questions or with the order questions are asked friends thank you for watching my video if you like my video then please subscribe to my channel management by dr mithul dimmer and share my videos thank you